Now, to solve the economic load dispatch of this problem, we have to add fuel cost models of each generator. So here we have to come to this generator. We have to ensure that it is available for automatic gain control and we can come to costs. Okay, we can select cubic function. The last one, last digits is zero. Okay, because we want to deal with it as quadratic equation. So if we have, for example, let's assume we have this one. So here, let's assume we have this function. Okay, let's come here. Let's say we have F1 of B1 equals, let's say, 200 plus 6.5 B1 plus 0.002 B1 square. Okay, so to enter this fuel cost model in the generator, we can see here 200, yeah? So we have to come here and put it here, 200. And for 6.5, we have to put it here, 6.5. And for 0 0.002, we have to put it here. Then we can press OK. For this one, we can uh, come here and assume the following fuel cost curve. F2 of P2 equals, for example, 260 plus 4.7 B2 plus 0.0023 B2 square. Then we can come here to this generator, but first we have to go here available for AGC, okay, come here to cost, select cubic functions and select 260. The other one is 4.7 here, and then we have also 0 0.0023 here, 0 0.0023. Then we can select, okay. And for the third generator, let's assume we have test fuel cost curve we have 230 plus 5.5 5 .5 b3 just b3 plus 0 0.0024 b3 square so we can come here Ensure that it is available for AGC, come to cost, select cubic functions, and select here 230. Then we have 5.5, here 5.5, and the last one is 0 0.0024. We can put it here, 0 0.0024. Then press OK. That's it. Uh, yeah, but let's also come to edit mode and select it row select field and select generator field press on this one and say it is available for agc we said okay so let's select generator agc status and we can put it here so we can switch it on or off the same things for the other generators field generator field select generator agc status and put it here and for the third generator again we can put also agc status this one and also for this one now to make it ready for solving economic load dispatch, we need also one thing. We have to come to case information, select aggregation, and then areas. From areas, come to AGC status and select economic dispatch. Okay? 
then it is ready to solve economic dispatch. But before doing that, we need also to see the answers or the final solutions. Yeah, so we have to come to draw, select field, select area field, and select here. Here, you can press and select hourly cost. Okay, so this is the one. And select also here, this one, and write hourly cost equal. So this one, this is the first reading. Let's also see the, uh, for example, lambda. We can come here and press anywhere and select. Is it here lambda? No. So we have to select a field and press find field and write here lambda and press search. So this is our lambda by lambda iterations. So this is our lambda. And let's come to background and select text and press here. So lambda equals this one. You can increase the font if you want. Okay, so this is your lambda. What is about the total demand, the total generations? Because we have now more than one load. We have more than one generator. So we can also write them here. So total demand equals in megawatt. Okay equals we can uh, press on control a control c to copy it and also again background text and control v here mega var okay so this we have and also let's bring them here total demand total demand in mega var Let's also say we want to see total generations in megavar, megawatt equals control A, control C, press OK. This we have, and the last one is megavar for total generation. Then we have to come to field and press on area field. We want to see total demand. So this is megawatt load. So this we have. And also come to field, select area field, and we have megawatt load. So we have this one from field. We can also press on area field and press here and we can select megawatt generation and the last one for megawatt generation area field and this one now it is fully ready for our simulation okay all what we need to do is just press on save to save it here do you want to add any comments no just skip it so it will save it without any comments and now we can come to run and let's see the solution so lambda will be 7.09 the answer hourly cost will be 5038.92 dollar per hour and also if we want to see for example is it correct or not we can do what we can come to this one double click on it and say it is five the spinner and let's say okay and also for this one double click and 
put five for the spinner and press OK. Now we can see them, they are on AGC mode. If we change any one of these settings, then it will be switched off the AGC and the hourly cost will increase because this is the optimal value or the best value we can get from these settings. So let's assume that it is decreasing. Just focus on this value. You will see that it will change now. It will increase. Can you see? Because what we got is just the optimal or the best answer. If we want to get the same answer, we have to just press on AGC mode. This is switch and it will be on. So it will return back to that setting. The same thing here. If we increase it or decrease it, the cost will increase because it will not be at the optimal setting anymore. So that's it for economic load dispatch. We can see the losses. We can see the total demand. If we want to increase any one of these, for example, this one, let's say this is five. This is three megavar bear click. And we can also say here it is by five and this is by three. We can see it here. We can switch on the capacitor. We can increase or decrease them. Or for example, this one, we can increase this. Can you see the solutions? It will be economically operated for any value. This is very beautiful and very useful actually. Can you see? We will have something here. For example, if we increase that one, suppose we have this one. Can you see? We have problem at this spot. We can see voltage drop coming here. Yeah. So this is also useful when we want to install, for example, renewable energy sources, and we have this situation. So instead of doing that, maybe it will be very useful to install, for example, wind turbines or wind farm at this bus, for example. So this one can be decreased, for example. We can see different things. If we switch it on the capacitor, we can see that one. We can increase the capacitor. So that's it for this video. Goodbye.